Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Control Expert Training. I'm your host, Yandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is the second part of how we can share variables from Control Expert PLC to an HMI from VGO Design. So, on the first part we saw how we can easily share variables and all the limitations and all the procedures that we need to do in order to avoid mistakes and problems on the communication. Now, let's go a little bit further. So let's go to the software first. Mm -hmm. Good. So in the previous video, we saw that we have created a variable, some variables in the data editor to share the information to the HMI. Okay. Now, one way to work with control experiment more everything efficient at least from my point of view is to work with the program units so if we go here into the logic and we add new program unit we can create a program unit that it will have their own interface with input and outputs and everything so let's create this prg control motors okay so This is the, I just did all uh, close windows. I just close everything. There we go. So I have this program unit. As you can see it's like a box with some input and outputs. Here we have the interface and variables, which is nice. So, in this case, I can create a variable, for example, for motor uh, or pump, let's say pump, pump 01. Here, I just need to find the application motor. Oh, come on. Application, and I'm going to use that one. So, I have this. Now, if we compare the interface variables with the data editor, here, GCDT, you can see here that, okay, I have the type, I have the value, the comment, the alias of, but here I have an address, and here I don't have the address. So. At first, when I was working with this and select HMI variables in order to share, I thought, okay, I'm going to see these variables on the other side, but no, it's not shown. So I thought, okay, let's try to change this from private to public. I do the same and select also HMI to be in the data dictionary. No. So if you want to use this and export to be geo designer it doesn't work so i'm going to show you that it doesn't work first of course so going to close this and i'm going to create one section here sr pump so uh so it's going to be pump one dot x run pump zero one dot x start. This is the same logic on the previous video. Okay. X stop. So I have this. It's going to work. So let's download this to my controller. And again, the controller, I'm going to simulate this in my PC and also going to simulate the HMR. And I'm going to enter the detail how to configure the Ethernet IP and everything that will be for another video. So right now I have the HMI, the PLC with the variable, with the program unit already there working. So if I select initialize animation table, 
force start is working fine if i put this one it goes to zero the run okay you can see it's working so the logic from the point of view of the eight from the plc seems to be everything fine um so the other thing that we just need to do is to export selected files I'm going to use xbm uh xb x xbm my m580 80 to because it's the second video so on bgl designer now um i'm going to delete this one delete so i'm going to start like from scratch already show you how is the other process um variables update link remove it and start again close link variables here i'm going to select the xbm file select m 80 underscore 2 open and there is no symbols at all okay and i believe this is this is correct um and this is my thinking so this is like a function block even if it's used it doesn't create any variables at rest that's why there is no unlocated variables or an address to put information to so if we need this to work imagine that this is going to be la, this program unit is going to be your code in a box and these variables are the interfaces that you can have inputs and outputs even if you use public or private it doesn't generate any address that you can commit any address or unlocated variable address that the plc allows you to communicate with the hmi or the hmi to communicate with the plc to read the variable or write the variable no it doesn't work like that so what we need to do is to associate that with something that has the address so i don't know if it's called work around or but this is how i will work on this so what i will do is i select this as a input and output okay then what i would do is to go to here and assign for example hmi pump 01 here select the structure that i want the same structure hmi pump 01 I'm going to select this one for hmi okay i'm going to uncheck all the other ones and now what we need to do is to link this hmi structure with the other one that I use in my unit as an input and output. How uh, we can do that? Okay, so I wasn't aware of this at the beginning. So if you go to effective parameter, you can select the same structure. You can see HMI pump 01 has the same structure as the one that I created on the interface. So I select this one. Okay. And then it will link the same variable okay for input and outputs it will do that so i don't know if it creates another error but so far this was the only way to make it easier and to make it work so uh, just disconnect going to connect and download this to the plc so that structure interface is just an interface and we need to use the other structure from the data editor in order to control in my case the motor 
but you can see here in my SR pump I use the interface that I already have on here not the HMI underscore so I don't do anything else I just link the variable later so I can change the name here or here doesn't matter okay so now that I have this I don't need to share this variable I need to share the one from the data editor so I'm going to select this one export selected XBM and for 80 underscore 2 then I'm going to ah, I have already downloaded this I believe uh, so here we can see this is running and I'm going to add into the animation table the data editor this one animation table so you can see I have the two structures this one that is going to communicate now with the HMI and this one is the one for the interface so if I make for example a modification here uh, should have a modification on the other side so let me see Maybe I forgot something. It's working. I use a different variable. doesn't allow me to compare the two of those okay don't worry I was checking different variables that's why so the variable that I need to use is this one HMI pan and this one over here as you can see it's changing and you can also see that on the code here so if I select this one to stop it just do the trick okay so now we need to do this without the interface or control expert just do it on the HMI so this can apply to Visual Designer or Project Terminal Expert is going to be the same so if we go to Visual Designer add variables update link update Okay, close. New value for the equipment, and you can see they have HMI PAM1. Now, it's going to put this in the one folder. Close. HMI PAM. And then we just need to change the variables here because this one came from the other example I have done before. HMI PAM start. I forgot to make double click. C okay apply okay okay and this one the last one you can do it over here or just go here to the property inspector so if we simulate now it should be able to work and control the the motor so we open control expert put this over here you can see that the code is working so it links the interface by doing this effective parameter it just link the value that I want so I don't need to share this to the HMI this value to the HMI, I just need to use the other one. So you can think it's like a duplication of things, 
point but imagine that you have a block and this is just the interface so you need to put a value over there and this is what we're doing basically okay so uh, this is how you can share the variables that you were using inside a program unit okay with an hmi in this case is with video designer but it's the same process for operator terminal expert so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one